What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with more T-Mobile Bianchi and we continue on with our Vuelta a España. To quickly recap the first episodes or first parts of the Vuelta, Primoz Roglic looking great in red right now, some way ahead of the competition. Uh, we're currently fifth place with Giulio Ciccone, but Geraint Thomas, Ruta Pools and David Godou all seem to be doing pretty well. And looking quickly at the stages we have coming up in today's episode, plenty of hills, obviously, being Love Welter. Massive mountain stage two on stage nine. That should be one of the most enjoyable stages of the race for sure. We have a time trial, more hills, yet more hills, more hills, and then a slightly flatter stage, but definitely some hills as well. Away we go then, and an exciting day today because we do have this climb. It's a pretty sizable climb as well, 7.5k, but Rick Zabel on a great day. We're going to try and get him over that climb, and hopefully we can shed some sprinters as well. About 2k from the top of this climb then. Zabel is slowly sliding back in this group. Some of the sprinters are struggling as well. We need to try... And move up. This is going to be so tough. Still 1k to go. Let's try and push it to 92. Try and push ahead of the likes of Pedersen and some others. But seemingly, if Zabel is going to stay here, we're going to have quite a few other sprinters here as well. But Aliotti doing God's work for Rick Zabel. Really helping him out as we go under 100 riders in this group now. So really, this still could be quite selective. And we're in a decent position also with Covey up the roads. Oh my word. But so many riders are done in this group. And that seems to be the block which is going to put Rick Zabel sadly out of contention today. What a shame. Yeah, so I've decided it's not worth trying to get Zabel back in. As we did have a fall in that group. None of our riders going down though. Because we have 32 riders at the front of this race right now. Maybe we can try and go for the stage instead with Julio, or sorry, Alessandro Covey, who is a decent sprinter. Even Chicone, one of those guys maybe. But of course, we will have Wout van Aert sat in this group. So we now enter the final 5k of this stage. Mike Woods going on the attack right now. A few guys trying to follow. Let's try and really push it now towards the Canadian. A few riders have managed to get back on to this group. I think they will be struggling quite a bit though as Fabro now brings our guys right to the front of this stage. Covey's going to try and kick away. We have Bennett in his wheel. Sadly, I hoped we could get the jump on some of these guys with Alessandro Covey right there. Clearly, we're going to struggle. Instead, we've led out Primoz Roglic. There goes Van Aert. Giacone tries to beat him. Aaron Buru tries to beat him. But Wout Van Aert is going to win stage eight of Love Well. So we try something different. We're not going to beat him in a straight up sprint. Didn't quite work today. Way we go then for potentially the queen stage of this year's Vuelta a España. We are going to try and go in the break with a couple of our riders. We'll try and get Covey and Ruch in today's breakaway. Should be okay, just like that. Giacone does get a plus two day, so maybe we can do something on, yeah, the amount of climbing today is unreal. But right now, the Peloton are not happy with this 15-man breakaway up the roads. Could be bad news for us. There continues to be a rapid rhythm up the Col d'Ordino. And, I mean, this is just ridiculous. Kovi is going to try and hold on for some KOM points ahead of Mark Pazoon. That should be pretty perfect for him right there, holding on to his lead in that competition. We have 100 riders still, apparently, in this peloton. I have no idea how. Following the climb, then, we do have eight riders up the road. You can see some of them, 83 apparently now in the main group. But really, so many riders are going to be really struggling with this tempo. On to the Col de la Galina then. And I mean, Giacone looking pretty good. That is the most important thing, of course, today. But the tempo remains pretty high and only one minute for the breakaway. Coming to the top then of this climb, the second major climb today. And a few riders in our team are shared. Covey has been caught now by the main group. He can sit up though, try and recover in this descent. 59 in the Peloton. We have had a few more attacks. I think Pierre Rolland, Antonez, Paulus, Woods, Izaguirre, and Pazoon is currently at the head of the race. Final section of climbing then. A short stage, under 100k, but a great, great stage today. The Alto, De La Comea, and Covey is providing some great help here. Aliotti as well, especially to Giulio Ciccone. Let's lower this a little to maybe 78 if we can and see 
how long we can hold on to this group. 15k to go, 37 riders are now in this group. Up the roads, we only have a few riders left. Mark Padoon on great form though, seemingly at this race. Quieto on the front, working for Ineos. And we look pretty good, still no major attacks have gone off the front. And I can see out the back, we have the likes of Mikhail Lanza, Gagan Hart, Adam Yates starting to struggle. Maybe we're feeling a little better than I really expected to today, I guess. Let's try and play it a little conservatively though. Try conserve until the final section of climbing. But there you go. As I say it, David Godou jumps onto the attack. Pagacha trying to follow. He should be able to do that pretty comfortably. He is. Tade Pagacha Quieto can follow as well. I don't really want them going up the roads and we do keep them in the same group. So let's try and push on now with Jacone. Suddenly 24 are in this group. Emmerich Mass, Caruso, Izagire, Tolhoik, Vlasov starting to struggle. We have some big riders now really struggling in this stage. Is that Vlasov out the back? Vlasov out the back. He is gone for the day. Now on to the graveled section of this stage. Still, the, uh, the Ukrainian champion stays ahead of everyone else. Let's slow it a little with Gio Aliotti as 18 riders are now in the peloton. I think everyone from the top 10 is still here, but you guys can see Primoz Roglic is visibly struggling on this stage. And look at Chikone. He looks absolutely brilliant, right? Aliotti straight up to 90. Let's try and put Roglic to the swords right here. So of course, Gio is going to collapse pretty quickly, but Fabro can now try and protect Giulio Ciccone. We have 5k to go. Roglic follows for now, and I'm really hoping that Ciccone can launch a fantastic attack today as Primoz Roglic goes out the back. The red jersey is gone already. Fabro is still on the front. What has happened to Roglic here? Valverde is gone as well. But I mean, what has happened to Roglic? That is a terrible, terrible moment for the red jersey. He is going out the jersey today for sure. And hopefully, Giulio Giacone can be the man to try and go into the jersey as Fabro is done. We'll put in a little attack. But Sivakov and Geraint Thomas look pretty strong right here for the Ineos Grenadiers. Ruta Pools is done. He is currently third place in the GC and we hold a lead right now over Sivakov, Godou who are both going out the back, Micah is gone as well, it's Pogaccia, Geraint Thomas versus Giulio Ciccone for this stage, what a stage this is, unbelievable stuff, we'll put these guys to also and we still hold a lead and I think we're going to take the stage here guys, Pogaccia cannot hold the wheel of Geraint Thomas unlike uh, what we saw at Torreno in real life recently. But what a rise by Giulio Ciccone today. Are we going into reds? I'm not sure. Let's try and push it all the way to the line. What a rise. We win by over 40 seconds. Giulio Ciccone takes a stage win at La Vuelta Espana. And what a special, special win that was. And Roglic is going to be beaten by Shackman, Groschartner and Quieto. He is going to lose upwards of three minutes. What a stage from Timo Barbianchi today. Only Garrett Thomas within one minute of Ciccone. Cannot believe that. And we ride into the red jersey. Garrett Thomas in second. We have Godou, Pog and Rog now down to fifth place. By the way, we do lose the KOM jersey to Padoon. I think uh, that is the last Kovi we'll see of this jersey. So quickly recapping the top section of the GC. Van Aert is now eight minutes down. He is really out of it. Shackman is seven minutes down. We have Fusang in 10th place. Micah only four minutes down in ninth, to be fair. He's not doing too bad. Sivakov is right there for the Ineos Grenadiers. So is our very own Matteo Fabro. Trying not to lose touch today too much. Pools just over two minutes down. We then have Primoz Roglic down to fifth place. Pogaccia to right there. I think all of those guys, Pogaccia and Roglic, are going to overtake Giulio Giacone today. We also have Godzu, who is going to lose time in this one. And Geraint Thomas, I think, should end today in the red jersey, as we are about to see our boy Giulio gets underway in that beautiful red jersey. So it's actually Pavel Sivkov currently first place at the first checkpoint. Fabro is doing pretty well himself. To be fair, you can see that other times Roglic not doing great. Pogaccia doing pretty well. So is Geraint Thomas. And here is Giulio Ciccone over a minute down. 
Ah, this is going to be painful. This is going to be really painful. So unless I am mistaken, Pavel Sivkov is going to win this time trial into Pavel Van Aert currently just beating Ghana. They are so far ahead of everyone else so far, but Pavel Sivakov crosses the line in first place. Fabro will soon finish as well. Roglic was 40 seconds down at that second split. Pogacar, 19. Godou, 1 minute 36. He's the man we need to compare ourselves to. Thomas is right there. And we are two minutes and 26 seconds down. And we have used a lot of energy as well. So Roglic ends 53 seconds down. Let's see where Pogacar goes. I think he will be ahead of Roglic for sure. And he is 25 seconds ahead of Roglic. Godou, almost overtaken by Geraint Thomas. But Chicone is so far back on the roads. We're four and a half kilometres or three and a half kilometres behind Geraint Thomas. And Godzu, it's terrible. Could Garrett Thomas steal the stage though from his teammate? Let's see. Thomas and Godzu across the line. Sivakov will hold on for the stage. Godzu lost two minutes and 18 seconds. I'm afraid it's going to be even worse for the red jersey. Painful final 500 meters for Giulio Chicone. Is it going to be four, five minutes? Let's see. Three minutes 24. Not quite as bad as I expected. At least we saw the jersey in T Mobile colors, right? I mean, that's a positive, but we're now back 2 minutes and 50 behind Geraint Thomas Pogacar, second Roglic, third. Very exciting race this is shaping up to be. We still have Fabro in the top 10, and he could be a card we try to play later on. Don't you just hate time trials? Luckily, it's out the way right now, and we can, uh, can get back to the hills and the climbs. Chicone on a great day. Could have done with it yesterday for sure, but... Hopefully, we can try and take advantage of this plus three. And I did manage to get Kevin Vermarker, a stage winner at this race up the roads in the breakaway. It looks like a pretty strong group as well. We have Tim Wellens, Groschartner, Serrano, Oli Narsen as well. It's a good group up the roads. All right, so we're coming to the business end of this stage. I did plan on having a slightly bigger lead up the roads in the breakaway. Only one and a half minutes because now I can't really attack up to Kevin Vermarker. But we should still have a high tempo in the peloton. Let's see what happens. Oh, but a big moment because we've had a crash. Both Kovi and Georg Zimmerman go down. The red jersey is down. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. So Geraint Thomas has gone down in this group behind. Where is he? Where is Geraint Thomas? He's further back still. Geraint Thomas has gone down in the red jersey for the Ineos Grenadiers. We need to stay alive right now because we suddenly have 25 riders at the front of the race. Let's drop Kevin Vermarker um, and see what happens because, as I expected, we have a very quick tempo in this group. Guys trying to put Geraint Thomas in some misery. Personally, I'm a man of honour. We are a team of honour here at Team Oba Bianchi. We don't try and pace when the race leader falls, unfortunately, in a sense. Jumbo Visma, I'm afraid the same cannot be said for them. George Bennett pressing on. They still have plenty of riders here. There's six riders in total, I think, for Jumbo Visma uh, working for Primoz Roglic today. And I think Geraint Thomas could be in some big, big trouble right now. He has Hinley. Sivakov has been dropped fifth place as well in the race. We have Froome as well. A few others from the team dropping back to help out. Let's see what happens here. It could be pretty difficult for Geraint to get back in. Up the road then, we have five riders remaining at the head of the race. Two minutes clear of the peloton still with only 30 riders. Still, Jasper Philipsen is here. If I was him, I'd be riding for the stage for sure at this point. But taking a look back to Geraint Thomas, he is still some way off the back. He still has a lot of team support. So does Pavel Sivkov. David Godzu went down as well. I mean, Wout van Aert pacing on the front. It's going to be difficult for anyone to get back in when he is doing that. And look at this. All the teammates are seemingly pretty done. Godzu and Geraint Thomas could be in some big, big trouble right here. Pogacar comes to the front. And Tadej Pogacar is trying to really push away right now for UEE Team Emirates. Chikone trying to stay on his wheel. And we are doing a pretty good job of that for sure. Uh, let's get in the wheel now of a marker. Whilst he is still here. I'm not sure what Pog is doing. Doesn't seem he's putting in a proper attack. Let's try and make sure we're following him with Giulio Ciccone as the marker is now done. 5k to go. This could be a chance to counter Tade Pogaccia with Giulio Ciccone. I mean, the race leader has gone down, but that kind of phase of the race is now over. And we have gone off the front here with Giulio Ciccone. We still have Fabro in this group. Let's try and follow um, maybe Pogaccia, that should be fine. But Ciccone has caught Tim Wellens 
at the front of the race and I will happily give him the stage if we can get some time on these guys. I'm not sure we're going to be able to though um, and we're definitely costing ourselves the chance at a stage right now into the final kilometre. Let's try and sprint for the win if we can. Ciccone trying to follow Wellens, trying to follow Mike Woods. We will get some bonus seconds, I think. That may be it though. I don't think this time gap is, uh, is going to count, sadly. Bit of a shame, um, but it's been a crazy day here at Le Well, so Roglic dropped again. What is going on? Garrett Thomas really battled, but he couldn't get back in. And further back, we have the likes of David Godou. What a stage. And in fairness, we were rewarded with some time it gains back on the other guys. Garrett Thomas does hold on to the red jersey as well. Chicone back into a podium position. We are suddenly right back in this race because Roglic drops a minute today. How has he dropped a minute? I have no idea. Um, and of course, Godou, two minutes. Geraint battled really well, and he does hold reds. Underway we go then, stage 12 now of Love Well. So heading to Bilbao today, a very difficult stage, really in the heart of the Basque country. Chicone, another decent day, and hopefully we can gain some more time somehow. Kovi as well could maybe try and go for the stage. We have arrived then again at the business end of the stage. I think we'll try and leave any attacks until the final climb. Absurd. 12% on average for 2k. Going to be pretty tricky um, and let's see what we can do. Instead, I have decided to put a few guys to the front. We've set a really hard rhythm to start this stage. I think we'll get for marker uh, protecting Chicone as uh, Zimmerman is done. Fabro can try and take position as well. So can Chicone. This is a rapid rhythm we have set right now. Seeing some great riders already go out the back. So we crest the Vivero climb. 29 riders remain in this group. Vermarca and Aliossi still here for us. We have five riders here. This is a great stage so far. We need to try and attack. And here we go. We have 10k to go in this stage. We are trying to dominate proceedings due to our numerical advantage right now at the front. And here we go. Alessandro Covey comes into the foot of this climb at 92. A massive rhythm to start let's even go 95 just for a little bit as we enter this climb in fact let's stay like this right now this is going pretty great Fabro can sit up I think at maybe 85 like this let's go at 85 now with Kovi Pogaccia is following Fabro is weaving around making these guys do the chasing we have 1k to go here Kovi could try and go for the stage win for sure there goes Mike Woods, let's try and get in his wheel actually with Alessandro Covey. Ciccone needs to try and follow because Mike Woods is gone. Covey cannot follow. Come on, Julio, get to the wheel of Mike Woods if you can, my man. But Woods is gone right here. 6k to go. Covey is in the group behind. We can sit up with him, in fact. No, he's by himself. He can tempo. We have a big gap right now on the red jersey and Pagacha. This is going fantastically. Godzu looks good as well today, but we need to get to that wheel of Mike Woods if we can. 3k to go, we have now caught Mike Woods. Let's sit up because we want Kovey back in this group if we can, but of course we want to gain time as well. Let's just sprint, see if we can take the stage with either Kovey or Giulio Ciccone now into the finish in Bilbao. Are we quick enough? Ciccone, Kovey too far back. Ciccone trying to hold on for the stage and Giulio Ciccone gets the win. Very close sprint there, Kovey fourth as well. Pivotal today, and we have over 30 seconds back to Garrett Thomas in reds. And where is Pogaccia? Where is Primoz Roglic? Both the Slovenians lose over 90 seconds again. They have had a shocker, not for the first time at this race either. And that result today is going to shake things up yet again. We move to second place in the GC. We are recovering after that terrible time trial, and Garrett Thomas holds a 38 second lead over Julio and Fabro you know is still right there in the GC he has been so consistent he's only three minutes down he is just behind Roglic. Ciccone starts the day then in the points jersey great to see right there and another absolutely crazy day at Love Welter ending on Los Machucos as well a crazy um, and really kind of prestigious climb I guess not on the best days though are Ciccone or Fabro so perhaps this could be a day we try and play a bit more defensive. And we have a kind of typical 
kind of towards the end of a grand tour breakaway today because Kovi is up the road. Let's try and get to the front as well um, if we can try and work with these guys a little bit because we have plenty of riders up the roads. I saw Danny Martinez, Mikel Lanza, Mass, Jorgensen, Adam Yates, Pippo Ganna, our future rider as well. Going to be a superpower breakaway. Right now there is no tempo at all in the peloton. I mistakenly dropped Kovi from the breakaway as well. So I may try and put a rhythm on in the peloton right here. So right now just over 100 riders remain in the peloton. Kovi six minutes behind the guys at the very front of the breakaway. And the peloton are over 10 minutes behind these guys. 22 riders are here. I think they probably have the stage at this point. But I do want to make it difficult for them if we can. And we are really trying to push this now. Gio Aliossi doing wonders on the front of the main peloton for us. We're now down to I think 83 riders. Hopefully we can make it around 70 by the top of this climb as well. So wonderful job by Gio Aliotti today. He is now done there. We have Kovi and Kevin Vermarka on the front. Still we have Ciccone and Fabro looking pretty good and still about 70 riders are here. And like I said earlier, I do believe the day is for the breakaway. Entering Los Machucos then. We have been forced back in the peloton. Suddenly we're on the back foot a little, especially when Kovi can't get out of the way of his own teammates there. Just brilliant riding, it must be said. Absolutely fantastic teamwork in this team. Uh, let's try and move up there without spending too much energy ahead of the crazy steep Los Machucos. So entering the climb then, we are so far out of position. So is Matteo Fabro. It's just... Oh, a climb of pure positioning. We couldn't get to the front in time. And you can see, I just, I'm stuck in this pack right now. Hopefully we can move somewhat to the front and not lose too much time. Six K to go then. We have been able to move to the front. And there goes David Gozu. I'm actually going to try and follow that with Giulio Ciccone. Still a long way to go in this climb, of course. But I think we need to be aggressive in this race. If we can get up the roads early on in Los Machucos with Ciccone, that could be... Uh, very, very good for us, but it seems we will be brought in slowly. I'm going to sit up, wait for Fabro to support this game, this game. I'm telling you, this game. I think Fabro is going to lose some time today as well, uh, which is a shame, of course. Let's try and sit up a little. Maybe I've been a little too aggressive so far. In this stage, as Tolhoik just cannot get out of our way. But here we go. Mike Woods on the attack. Bit late to try and go for the stage, Mike, I think. And already... Seven minutes down in GC. There goes Shackman as well. Still 3k to go. We are struggling today. So we're currently sat here with Ciccone. Like I said, I think Fabro is in trouble today. Even Ciccone could be. We need to be much less aggressive than we have been so far in this stage. Let's even drop it to maybe 50. No GC rivals are currently up the road as Fabro tries to join Ciccone at the front of this group. Adam Yates wins the stage on Los Machucos, but we don't really have the power today to really put our rivals to the sword. So like I said, let's just sit in. But now 1k to go. We are going to try and lead this group out into the final kilometer. We're in a good position. Let's sprint for the line with Julio. Can we drop anyone into the finish apart from our teammate Matteo Fabro? Classic, great riding by me. Uh, but we do win the group sprints, but no real changes in the GC today, bar some stupid lost time really. For Matteo Fabro. Guys, I really hope that today is the day that this man can get his first Grand Tour stage win, his first opportunity of today's episode. An uphill finish, I think he can handle it on this plus two day. Let's get it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm worried about this breakaway. They still have three minutes. I've done a lot of work already, but Pippo Ganna, Stebar, Pollitt, we have some strong, strong flat riders in this group. Could be quite difficult. We come into the final 16, 15k then. Still over a minute for this breakaway. Oh, I really hope we don't need this stage to the break. Would be a nightmare. 7k to go. You can see the break still 50, 48 seconds up the road. Gio Aliossi is doing his best. We still have Zabal sat on the back looking okay. Not great to be fair, but 5k to go. They still hold their leads on this group. We need to save our energy uh, for the slightly uphill finish as well. This could be a close finish and I think the break may have this one. I've worked all day by myself to try and close this group down. But you can see they're still up the road. Do they have anything left? Yes, they do. Pippo Ganna on the front. Oh boy, 2k to go. Let's try. But I think they've won this. What a shame. Ganna goes for the line into the final 
two kilometers right here. Let's try and go with Covey, 1K to go. It's gonna to be too late. The breakaway are going to win this stage and it will be Callum Griffin, I think a new gen. Oh, that is so frustrating. I've worked so hard all day. Caleb Ewan luckily is gonna beat us in the mass sprint. So wouldn't have been a stage win anyway. We miss out on that stage then, but a very successful episode, it must be said. We got, I think, numerous stage wins with Giulio Ciccone. A good Vuelta so far, and despite a time trial, a terrible one at that. We are second in the GC, 38 seconds off Garant Thomas. Pogaccia, Pools and Roglic, they've all shown weakness at some point, so I think we can be very happy with how this race is going. But guys, if you enjoyed, smash that like button. It really helps the channel out in the YouTube algorithm. As you know, drop a sub on the channel as well if you're new. I will see you for the finale. <laughs>